Hey, how's your day? Today I'm going to talk to you about the object selection tool. Now, number one, if you've got a busy photograph like I'm going to show you today, it might not get everything that you want it to get, but I'll show you how to do it. But first of all, I'll show you how to create a keyboard shortcut so you can mask all objects without having to click anywhere and wait. All right, uh, so let's go, go, go. Now, before we get started doing anything, let's create the keyboard shortcut for mask all objects. It'll be the most important keyboard shortcut for this. So let's go to edit keyboard shortcuts. Now hit layer and scroll down until you see clipping mask way down here. There we go. Now click on mask all objects and hit control shift M. It's not being used by Photoshop, so now you've created your own shortcut to save you time. So hit accept and OK. Now let's try it out. Control Shift M. And it automatically masks things out. But it might be a bit confusing by looking at the thumbnail of what they are. So do this. At the top one selected, add a curves and exaggerate it a bit. Now hold your Alt key down and drag curves down to every one of them. Now if you turn off the layer you know exactly what it is it's got. There's the little squirrel but as you can tell the little squirrel is not all selected. So hold your control button down and click the mask. Now let's zoom in and hit your quick mask. Make sure your brush is 100%, adjust it a bit, and color in the rest of the squirrel that you want. Take your time, it's not a race, but let's grab as much of the squirrel as we possibly can for this mask. There we go, I think we got them. Now, undo the quick mask, and it looks like you've got them selected. If you need to select more, just hit Q and redo your mask. All right, now what we'll do, back to the mask, hit Shift Backspace, and fill it with your background color, which is white. And now you've added the full squirrel to the mask. Control D to deselect, Control Zero, zoom out. If you turn it off and on, now you got the whole squirrel that you want to alter. You can do that with any and all the masks. Add and subtract to it. Also, with the curves adjustment layer on each one of the masks, you can individually alter every one of the masks. So far, this is pretty cool stuff for object selection tool. But first, let's take a quick break to uh, let our eyes adjust a bit. Please like and subscribe and ring my bell. For all future videos, it's free. And it really helps. Thanks, guys. Okay, now in here I found that object four, two, and one are all the bench. But I don't want three individual masks. So what you can do, hold down the control button and click the mask. Now you won't see anything happen other than what's in the screen. But hold control and shift down together and click the other two masks. That'll grab all the masks. Now what you can do is hit shift and backspace. Make sure your background color is white and hit okay. Now object four is all of them. So control D to deselect. And now you can remove the other two masks if you don't need them or just simply turn them off. As you can see now, the whole bench is selected. That was some really cool stuff. It's a lot to digest in one sitting. But hey, once you do the keyboard shortcut, it'll make your workflow faster and more accurate, and it'll just a lot better for you for getting to know Photoshop a little bit better. See you soon.